Hello, Sophie and ukulele students practicing and studying Jupiter. Here it is. <laughs> Big long page with our staff written notes, treble clef, five lines, and our tablature, four lines, one representing each string on our ukulele with the numbers for which frets we should place our fingers on. Okay. We are going to play until quarter note equals 68 beats per minute. This nice C half note right there. Okay? That's where we're going to play today. Beginning until there. All right, that way we get our beginning phrase. And then we get what happens next. And then we get the beginning again. Since there's only two parts to this arrangement of Jupiter, and they're just repeating in a little order. All right? Okay. I'm going to be careful to tap my foot while I play this. I have a loud clock. <laughs> so I want to follow the tempo I set, just like when we are playing and focusing on our rhythm. We must follow what we are counting. So foot tapping can sometimes help. And I'm going to count one, two, because we play our first eighth notes on beat number three. All right. Hopefully our video will pick up the ukulele well enough. Okay. I might hum through as I play. All right, friends. It's going to be one and two. chord. Okay. All right. So there's our melody guide and the rhythm that I played is accurate. Uh, and you guys could see my fingers on the frets, noticing probably how I moved from C up to fifth fret D, sliding up to seventh fret E. That can be done ever so slightly differently if you want to keep this finger on C, but then maybe slide to D and then use the pinky. Either way, if it's a pinky slide first and only, or if it's a third finger slide, I would use the pinky on E though. That way you don't go too far away from your home base. Okay, friends. Quarter notes. Half notes, pretty easy. Eighth notes, eh, we gotta move, gotta move along. But we have our very fancy dotted eighth note, and its partner over here is actually a sixteenth note. Two eighth notes can fit into one quarter note. Four sixteenth notes can fit into one quarter note. Everything is doubled up the more lines you add. <laughs> so dotted eighth note, a little bit longer, 
it's actually worth three sixteenth notes and sixteenth note shorter than an eighth note. If we're not quite perfectly accurate, that is okay. We just need a little longer on those dotted eighth notes, right? Long, short, eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter, half note, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth, long, short, eighth, eighth, okay? I'm going to play it again and I'm going to count while I play, all right? Let's hope I don't get tongue twisted. <laughs> Two counts again. We play on beat number three. It's called a pickup. <laughs> one and two. Three and one. Two and three. Short one and two. Three. One and two. Three. One, two, three, and one, two, and long, short, one, and two, three, one, and two, three, maybe a C chord here, half note C, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. back two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and long, short, one, and two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, and one, two and three long short one and two three one and two three C chord beautiful Jupiter all right my dears have fun practicing <laughs> and if you feel like playing the whole page you're going to do some of what? You're going to do all of what you already did. <laughs> We're just going to complete the map if we were to play the whole page. But that is enough to get the, the melody of the song. All right, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.